let's continue to see the real equation plant on the gas carriers so first we will see what is a liquefied gas a liquefied gas is a liquid form or substance which is at ambient temperature and pressure as a gas most liquid gases are hydrocarbons making it a, a world's primary source of liquefied gas what is liquefied petroleum gas examples ethylene propylene liquefied natural gas lng and butadiene so let's discuss uh, important terms what is critical temperature at which a gas cannot be liquefied no matter how great the pressure you apply and adiabatic process which occurs without transferring the heat or mass between a system and its surroundings then we have a superheated liquid is a liquid when it has been heated above its boiling point by the pressure and still exists in liquid states then what is latent heat of vaporization is the amount of energy that must be added to a liquid substance to transform that quantity now it, let's see it's the uh, same scenario which we are talked about the real equation plant so we have a fully refrigerated ship this is carrying lpg while the tanks are uh, designed for carrying uh, this neg negative temperature up to minus 40 so uh, there is strong insulation and we have the liquid cargo and the boil off so boil off gas because of the uh, its nature and temperature the gas will be a lot of uh, boil off and so we need to uh, liquefy the gas so when you are asked for the need for re-liquefaction, first is cool down, cooling down the cargo tank and the associated pipeline before loading. Then in the cool down process, we need re-liquefaction. Then re-liquefy the cargo vapors generated by flash evaporation, liquid displacement and boil off. Then you have to maintain the tank uh, pressure also. Then let's see the parts of re-liquefaction plant. This is the first part is the compressor. You can have for different stages compressor. So we have a reciprocating pump or a screw type pump. Only two types are found. And the coolant used can be of what you call a nitrogen. Then this is a reciprocating compressor intercooler for uh, so intercooler is like the condenser which we saw so this is cooling by nitrogen or seawater or oil cooled depending then a condenser is the uh, for again cooling down and exchanging the heat if you can say heat exchanges so gas is going from here and passing and getting again cooled down then condensers are mostly shell and tube type you have tubes in which the seawater or cooling liquid is passing and uh, the gas is getting cooled down then you have the ex expansion valve expansion valves are generally solenoid type called thermostat to control the temperature as per the required temperature they will open or close automatically to drop the line pressure like liquid will expand and the pressure will drop and it will cool down now this is a two stage compressors in exams you can draw less like a block like this and write that this is compressor intercooler compressor and condenser so because we have uh, two compressor here so we have one intercooler and then condenser otherwise uh, we had directly if it is single stage we directly had condenser so, so let's see the same the gas is boiling off from the tank the boil off we take and it will go to the compressor and then the compressor
the compressor by external valve raises the cargo vapors and it gets gets heated so this will the pen temperature will increase pressure will increase but it will become to liquid state some vapor will also be there that's why uh, we have two stage compressor here because it's not able to put all the gas to liquid then the intercooler will uh, uh, cool down the gas and uh, increase the efficiency of the plant because if the gas is uh, very hot then it will not be able to cool next stage will not be able to cool so the so superheated uh, vapor from first stage compressor is uh, decreased by the intercooler and then it returns to the second stage compressor again the temperature and pressure is rising and uh, again, gas is whatever remaining vapors are again turning to liquid and uh, now the liquid is very hot so it will go to condenser which is cooled by sea water and sea water is a super again superheated uh, whatever liquid 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 and vapors return to the, get uh, cool down and then they pass through the, uh, go to the receiver where it is where all the liquid is collected and uh, the gas is again passed to the remaining line and then this liquid again passes through the intercooler and uh, so intercooler is at low pressure so again some more temperature drops because this gas is very hot then after intercooler it passes through expansion valve and it's uh, expansion valve expands the gas or liquid pressure and temperature drops and the cool liquid is again entering the tank and this is the condensate this is called the condensate like the line coming from the condenser or uh, the intercooler and after the expansion valve is called the condensate line